So these are always super fun, and I love Fridays because they're special. Special not just because it's a Friday and because you guys get to see each other for the first time, but a lot of times when we have new guests and folks that haven't been introduced to this world yet, you get to hang out with them on Friday. Today is that day, and uh, I'm excited to introduce to you guys our guests, Nate Torrance and Carrie Genzel. Please welcome. Microphones here and here. Yes. And these lovely people here may walk up to these microphones and ask you for your social security number, <laughs> mother's maiden name, and the bank account info. You have to give it I to have them. have it all. I have it all. It's in the Don't contract worry. you signed. It's in here. It's there. So, let's share, let's there share you go. some debit and credit together. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Awesome. So, um, I, I, I know that I was scheduled to do this panel with Nate, but um, I don't see him. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, there I am. Oh, 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 I forget. I forget sometimes. Thank God, because I thought I was up here by myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, Nate Torrance, everybody. Yes! Um, I'm very excited to be here with you. I have not seen you since we no, shot the episode. It, no, it has been. It's been great. So it's, it's nice to see you, and I know everyone's excited to see you. Yeah, I'm, I, I am. I, I, uh, I, I've been, it's been so fun. One, how many times I have people come up and, and give me a huge giant Sully hug, which I have not minded. I don't I don't mind that at all. So it's really well, cool to be a part of the show in, in, in any form possible. That's a good, that's amazing because I can tell you from being at these shows before that these people right here give the best hugs. <laughs> there it is. Tell you. It. I the actually tried to hint at Sully. I couldn't go full wardrobe, but I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and do a little rainbow. Got a hint. <laughs> Got my little Sully button. There you she's go. got sparkle on her face. I got some sparkle. Well, someone today. gave me that. I, I got like my that. unicorn and pie. I got, yeah. <laughs> Gotta I think it through. So I had to do a little sparkle, not on the face, because that stuff stains people. That was, that was an intense take. It really, really was. <laughs> and it was really, well, it was funny because the camera was on you, and it was really hard to not laugh at you and not throw you off because it was like, but then you did it and it was like, oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. And I just went like this. This, <laughs> I was, listen. I was like off camera and I was like, I can't look, I can't I, look. <laughs> I promised Rich yeah. that I would not break. It was such a huge cleanup. A huge cleanup. It, like, it would have been like a 40 minute like cleanup. He <laughs> was you know. like, he came up to me and he's like, Carrie, come here, come here. He's like, the boys are gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna try to make you laugh. This is funny. You cannot promise me that you don't laugh during the take because we got to take all the blood off, put on your makeup. We got, yeah, it's yeah. 40 minutes, it's an hour. Promise me. And I'm like, I got you. They're not going to get me. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Right? So, for those of you that haven't heard the story, if you remember the scene, I sit down on the bench and next to me there's two big pools of sparkle blood. So when I sit down, I put my hands in it, right? So that I can do this. And um, I've worked with fake blood before, but not with giant sparkles no, totally, in totally. it, right? So I didn't know what was gonna happen. So away we go, action. And it, it's, I can feel it all over my face and I get up and we're doing the scene and I can't look at Nate. 
because I can't see him. And meanwhile, he's in like his Sully outfit, being all funny. I'm like, don't, don't look at Nate, don't look at Nate, don't look at Nate. And as I'm standing there, a huge piece of sparkle goes in my eye. Right? And all I can think of is like, I promised Rich I wasn't gonna wreck this tank. Like, I'm not gonna wreck this tank. And uh, I'm standing there and I'm trying to ignore Nate and all I'm doing in my head during that whole scene is Jensen, Jared, Jensen, Jared, oh, speak, man. Jensen, Jared, don't look at Nate, don't look at Nate, don't look at Nate, don't look at Nate. <laughs> Jensen, Jared, speak, Jens, Jensen, Jen, don't over blink, don't over blink, don't over blink, I don't water, don't water, cut, make up! <laughs> So, so that's what was going on in my head during that scene. People were like, how did you not laugh? I'm like, because it felt like there was a machete in my eye. Oh, oh man, that is awesome. How was it for you? It was amazing. You know, it, it was funny because I, I, my first scene was in the, um, in the kitchen. That was the first thing I, I shot that uh, on the episode. And I remember I, I talked to, to Richard before because it was such a unique character like to uh, try to find the energy of. You know, like, because I was coming onto the show, I remember when they showed me my outfit, I'm like, I don't know how I'm not gonna stick out way too crazy in the dark world of Supernatural. I'm like, this is gonna be so hard to like ground and not look fake. And, uh, and we did, we, we found it in the kitchen, like to find like this earnest energy where it was coming from like, like my levels. And I thought Spade was amazing at that, just because he has such a hand in comedy himself as an actor. Um, that, uh, yeah, and then Jared and Jensen were amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I was, you know, sharing this earlier. I, it was so great having Rich direct this episode because he's an actor yeah. and because he's supernatural family, yeah. you know, so he had a shorthand with everybody and knows the show so well. So he really did look for those opportunities to yeah. kind of add and extra things. It was cool because it was like his first one. And, and that idea of, I remember having dinner right before we filmed in like, Wanting it to be such a success for him because I could feel how much he you know that, that what a pressure to go to be in an environment where you're this actor and then what an honor to be a director in that but man you want to hit it out of the park and he really took a risk I think on my casting because I know they're looking at a couple people in Vancouver the idea of like bringing someone from the states up to do the and I just I really just wanted to do so well for him and then I feel like within like three days it was just so obvious that he had done more homework than so many directors I've ever worked with. Yeah, he was great. We did, I did feel, I didn't know that it was his first episode yeah. either until yeah. we were shooting and then it, it was like, we all wanted just to shine. And yeah, no, he, he killed it. He was amazing. He was amazing. Yeah. There's, I see some lines forming for some oh, questions. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, and then the script too by Jenny Klein was amazing. <laughs> That it was that was so funny. Like uh, I, I I when I read it, I couldn't believe I got to play something so. There that the sparkle scene. I mean, like I I just remember just dying laughing. Like I was like, oh my gosh, it's so funny. But then to have this heart yeah. that that we got to find um, in the um, Kwanzaa hut and and to be able to like oh uh, yeah the, to to be able to like mess with the shows canon, like because you were introducing a character into something that had already happened and existed, it was so, uh, I was, uh, that was a process for me to like, I, I wanted to be very aware to, you know, like the, just the fear of it, like the fear of messing something up. Right. And, and boy, it was, they, the, the, the pictures that they painted, bringing in like the little soldier toys and telling, they told me everything, what they brought it in, why it was there, uh, just because it was so intricate. They were, they were doing so many intricate choices. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You always make me cry in that episode Aww. when I see it. You do! <laughs> Who cries during the end of that episode? Oh. Yes! Right? It was, I was crying in it. That was easy. <laughs> it was so easy working off Reese and, and yeah, I mean, and Jared. That it, it, it was, the emotions were palpable and there and real. Specifically, I remember in the, when we did the, you know, the pep talk basically scene. Um, that, that came so fast. And it was so funny because we had done all this jokey stuff, and I think there was maybe a sense of, hey, so let, where, where are we, how are we going to ground this? And it just happened immediately. Like, it really was. It was really exciting. Um, and then Reese at the end with, you know, with it, with it being this twin girl that, uh, that I had botched up the plan on, and, and I loved 
making Sully have this mistake. Like, ugh, because he's been this oh, oh, overwhelming great friend and, and great support, and then you realize he had a fall, kind of like how we all do. And so it's kind of very easy to, uh, to, to dive into that and be like, man, have I ever been in this moment in my life before right, exactly. where I failed completely? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm. All right, Any, in, do you or... want to start with questions? Yeah. Hi, my question is for Carrie. Um, so my mom watched you in All My Children. If you, if they did an All My Children reunion, would you go back? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, I would go back. It was, you know, All My Children was, um, you know, my first really big job. Um, and, you know, I got to work with incredible actors on that show. I, you know, it was funny, just, I was looking at some clips the other day, you know, uh, Susan Lucci and Robin Madsen and Kelly Ripa and, um, uh, you know, oh gosh, the list goes on. I mean, there's so many, but, um, you know, I feel like um, there's some unfinished business there. So, you know, if I were asked, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Nate. I love that Yay! outfit. Look at that. That's Yay! awesome. Uh, so obviously my question is for Nate. <laughs> um, just to name a few, yeah. you've been dressed like this. Uh, you've been a cloud. <laughs> you've been a super Dan. Yeah. If you had to spend a year in oh. one of the many outfits that you've had to wear in your parts over the years, <laughs> that's amazing. What would that be? And what daily, day-to-day -day activity do you think would be most complicated by that outfit? <laughs> what, a, what a great question. I'm gonna have to say the cloud from Superstore definitely breathed. <laughs> it was nice and leotards. <laughs> Leotards in a giant cloud, I'll take it. Couldn't do like a Zumba class in it though. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that would definitely be it. But it is funny, I have I've really gotten the, the, I have gotten to dress up as a lot of things in my career. Sully does hold the top favorite, I think, character that isn't like human. I, I, I love this character. Like, I mean, like I, I'm not just saying that uh, it would be in any interview in any time. It, it was like an honor to play this role because as a comedian, we often get the highs, but we don't get the lows and the honest moments. And, and then to, uh, yeah, to be happy. I like to be happy. <laughs> I'm glad you love Sully. I love Sully too. <laughs> Thanks for dressing. We gotta get a big one. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you guys have seen the rest of Supernatural, and if so, what is your favorite episode? Ooh. Oh my gosh. What's yours? I have so many. Like, episode-wise, and, and I don't, like, Supernatural, what I, what I thoroughly do love about the show, and, and I would say, as far as to answer your first question, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen most of it. Um, I love... I love the comedic episodes. Like, I mean, like uh, the the, the um, uh, channels, changing channels, French, French, French mystery, yeah, that was what I was gonna uh, say. mystery spot. Like, yeah. I I think that just comes because that's my like style of acting, and I was always amazed that they could go from intense thriller episodes favorite thriller ever episode the pilot still ranks for me faith those would be in the beginning like the earlier ones but um i think it was i think they stuck with me because i know what it takes like we both would know what it takes to get a show rolling right and right. there's so much risk in that first season because you're just not sure if anyone's going to watch it and, uh, ratings haven't come out you're like eight episodes deep before it's even aired and you're getting notes from networks and to see the risks that they took oh my gosh yeah. as as just creative and then as actors that they became so pliable to humor it is astounding to right me. i mean like, when i the first episode i did was bugs which was in the first season and it wasn't airing yet so nobody really knew what was going to happen yeah. it was really dark yeah. cw wasn't really doing dark yeah. right and um 
it even was shot so dark. Yeah, like well, yeah, was, they were doing a lot of, like different. more bubble gum. Like it was, it was, it was just like such, yeah, yeah, it was definitely like teen driven. And uh, yeah, but then there, I mean, then you just the writing, and that's why there's conventions because the, the, it got so good because it'd be Lazarus, uh, Lazarus Rising. Where, where they introduce the actual angel aspect and stuff. Right. Because you're creating, I feel like Supernatural is maybe seven different shows. Like, that's what's so funny about it. Or at least that would be my observation, where it's like, wow, these could have been All completely different, different chapters. Um, and the writing just continued to go. So anyway, that's a long-winded answer to that. All right. Thank you so much. Thank my, you. My favorite's the trickster um, with the Groundhog Day theme. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's, yes. that, that, that introduction, that was a great, that's Mystery Spot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's a good one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Hi. Um, my question's for both of you. I was just wondering if you guys had imaginary friends and they could be represented by anyone or look like anyone, who would that be? Oh. oh. That's so good. I love your question. That's a great question. You know what? I did have an imaginary friend, and I don't know who she, she, I think the closest thing that I can think of is that she kind of looked like Wednesday Adams. <laughs> That's amazing. Like the Christina Ricci Wednesday? Yes. <laughs> Specifically. Awesome. Good choice. <laughs> Vibe is, I don't know, I don't know that I had an imaginary friend. My son had an imaginary friend, and his name was Sherman, and it was really, really real, like, to him. And, and honestly, when I, when I got uh, Sully, uh, so much of my actions were based on my son just being, like, the best friend you could ever have, like, trying to be really childlike. And, yeah, he loved him. And then I found out that it was based on one of my friends whose last name was Sherman. His name was Matt Sherman, and I'm like, I never put that together. I'm like, your, your, your imaginary friend is actually one of my friends. And then I was like, wow, you want to be with him more than me. That's, wow. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, no. Sweet, but kind of sad. Exactly. Yeah, a little bit. That's an awesome yeah. question. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is, this is. This is gorgeous. I just saw a picture of that outfit. That's amazing. Look. Yes! Oh, do you have that in a little bit over an XL? <laughs> I'm hovering. I'm hovering in between. <laughs> That's beautiful. She took my question, but I was going to say, I came to DC. I'm from Georgia. I came to DC just because you were going to be here. Oh, yes. that is like. Oh, you are amazing. I, I hope we get a moment outside of here. My favorite one-time character. I'm so excited. Well, thank you. That means more than you know. Thank you so much for, for loving it. As I, much I don't as have I a do. question. She took mine. I was going to ask about imaginary friends. <laughs> so. Well, that's okay. We got to concentrate on that amazing coat that exactly. much more. Thank you. Exactly. You look did, you, did you actually make that? I did. Wow, wow. What an artist. That is beautiful. That is, that's gorgeous. Thank yeah, you. I need a picture of that. Oh, I, you're going to sign it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in on that. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Hi guys. Hi. 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 So, you both have been um, on shows very intricate and very personal to me. Um, Supernatural. I'm gonna take y'all way back. Malcolm in the Middle. Ooh, wow. Malcolm in the Middle. That's awesome. And Psych. That's okay. True. <laughs> so, for each of you, I would like to know just a little bit of if you remember anything from your time filming, especially Carrie, if you filmed, if you spent any time with Tim Amundsen who played Lassiter, if you remember anything. I actually didn't shoot with him on Psych, uh, unfortunately, but I did have a great time shooting it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, oh, there's Daphne. Hi, Daph. It's my dog. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, we didn't get to work together, but I did have a really wonderful time shooting that episode, and um, we shot that up in Vancouver, too, and uh, where all great, great television is made. Um, <laughs> it's true. My hometown. There's um, a lot. There's a lot. 
Um, and you know, the thing that makes me laugh about Vancouver is like, you know all the shows that are shooting in Vancouver because how many other supernatural actors can, have you spotted on other Vancouver shows? Yeah. <laughs> right? A lot. They just built, have you worked in Lang the Langley Studios yet too? That they're like a little farther down. We were just, that what we were just about to film there because they just built a bunch more. Oh, I haven't been yeah, to that. It's, it's, they built a bunch more, so it's crazy how big Vancouver is getting. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. It's yeah. insane. But yeah, that was always the joke. It's like, you know, that's the thing with Vancouver is like after the rule was after five years, you could audition for Supernatural again because they were running out of actors. <laughs> so it took me 10. That's I amazing. Got, I did make it's it back. It's just a remix. Someone needs to put that together. Like, right? like one, five, 10. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you guys are like, have like eagle eyes. So the minute just my imagination aired immediately on social media, people were like, wait a minute. That's the lady, whoop, there goes my phone. They're like, that's the lady from Bugs. I remember and, you did it, because didn't Reese too? Wasn't she on one as well? She was Yeah, like, I think so. Yeah, I think that the girl that, that was at the end. Um, you know, and both characters were named Linda, which is weird. That's funny. <laughs> but they were so. So it actually was just like Linda from Bugs, then just. <laughs> so weird. That's awesome. It was really weird. Anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, Malcolm in the Middle, I, I remember. Well, it's funny about that. I was really young. That would have been one of my like first um, guest star on TV. I kind of started off in commercials and then started doing a little bit of television. And um, all of the people had to uh, shave their heads for my episode because it was Reese was in the army, and um, I couldn't shave my head because I had another another job. And it was like, there was a sol solidarity for everyone to shave their head. And I like went up to the dragon, like, please, I have another job. I never have jobs. And they're like, and I'm like, I'm just starting out. I'm like, I can't not, not do the, you know, the next one. I'm trying to remember what the other one was. Cause it was a little bigger even. And he goes, don't take your hat off for the whole shoot. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I never take my hat off the whole time. So if you ever watch it, everyone's head shaved but mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you so you much. for that. Um, um, my question is for Nate. When you were in the kitchen with all of the food on the table with like the nachos and the marshmallows, I was wondering if you ever got to try anything that was on that table or if you have any odd food combinations that you like oh, to put together. Such a good question. No, I was definitely not allowed to touch it. It was like a work of art. Like they were like, this is a Picasso, stay away from it. It's like, do not bump it, shake it, touch it. Cause it was, it was like gorgeous. And they were doing like the hover on where they close stuff on it. So, so no, I didn't get to touch any of it. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know how much of it was actually edible. Like, like, like 90% of the time, like the marshmallows like blue. And you're like, mm. I don't know if it was, but, but yeah, that was, that was, it was such eye candy though. Like literally, I remember walking in. Cause again, that would have been my first, that was my first um, moment on the set. And I was like, oh boy, did they go all out. Like, you know, because sometimes you can half, you know, have asked that a little bit. And they were like, totally, it was beautiful. Um, so no, I didn't eat any. And I ate about everything and anything gummy growing up. Like, <laughs> like I, was, I was the kid that like would buy gummy, like uh, the gummy bear, gummy cola bottle, gummy worm. Then I'd go home and melt them into, in, in the microwave and then make my own gummy and walk around and eat it. Wasn't very healthy, I think in hindsight, now that I think about it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but good memories nonetheless. Yes. Latchkey kid, as, mom and dad weren't home. <laughs> listen, as, as actors, they don't really let us touch much of anything unless we're holding it in the scene. They're all like, it stay away. Really stay is. away. We don't have a good reputation. It is. It, for, it is. Uh, we, will, we will destroy anything yeah. and everything we touch. Exactly. There's like, it's roped off. <laughs> it was, you know what was cool though, I, that I, just, I do remember about that scene is at the end, um, they left and they let me just improvise what I was doing while they were having a meeting. And in that moment, I was opening cupboards and going through, like and there, there's tape somewhere of it. It was pretty funny where I just like kept opening drawers and I'm like, I'll box this up, don't worry. <laughs> and so that would have been a, like, like this fun aspect of like ah. the environment, but yeah. No touch the food. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hi. 
So my question was, did you have a favorite scene to shoot? Mm, favorite? Yes. Oh. From this episode? Well, you have two. So or of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it from, yeah, this from this episode? Oh, from this episode. Well, I think we can guess yeah. uh, what that was. <laughs> Favorite and also uncomfortable. Um, yeah, sparkle, the sparkle. I have to say, like, having that on my face the first time and seeing your faces <laughs> was uh, pretty it was, funny. It really paid off. So often, you know, like you'll read something and you're like, I hope this works right. in the moment. And, right. And it really did. It that was a great scene. That it was, was so great. Funny. But it, all the stuff leading up to it, too, of like just what was happening in that room, what had happened, and the, yeah. you know, poor Sparkle. <laughs> you know, it was so cute. Jenna, you know, she was, um, I don't know how old she was when we shot that. She wanted to see the murdered Sparkle so badly. Oh, and that's hilarious. She walked really badly. And, uh, and Rich was like, I don't know, it's gonna look kind of bad. <laughs> the horn was broken off. <laughs> like, um, and so I said to her mom, I said, I'm gonna take some pictures and I'll send them to you. And if you think it's appropriate, then she could see it. But she never ever saw him like that. <laughs> That's funny, because, yeah, because the, the idea of, like, is shooting all of those scenes, and then right, like, they're now having a we'll tea party, and then that, he's, like, murder. This is his death. I do remember when we were shooting that, though, they forgot to tell him that they'd cut, and he was holding his breath. And we all were, like, moving on and moving about, and all of a sudden they hear Jensen go, breathe! Breathe! Because <laughs> he was watching the monitor and noticed he wasn't that breathing. That is so funny. <laughs> That is, that is so funny. I did a, I, I had this happen to me. I was in a, I was, I was in a CSI, and it was the year that was like the, the, the highest budgeted corpse that CSI had ever done. And you have to look it up, because I die in a tub. So they actually did like this full body prosthetic of me, where I, I oh, up to God. the eyes of the tub, and they had to like crane me out. But anyway, we're doing like the autopsy scene, and the thing weighed so much, and I'm like, eee! And, and Georgia Fox is like, I can hear him, and I'm like, I can't breathe! And I'm trying desperately. It was so funny. Somehow they got all the breathing out. I never didn't make noise. Like, it was like how it was all falling on me. Oh I was my just, like, God. whimpering and whistling in ways that I, Listen, I have no play, idea how. Playing dead is one of the hardest really, things to do. I had to play dead one time up in Vancouver. There was a freak snowstorm, and my body was, like, out in the yard, and it was oh. freezing cold, oh. and I'm in some period dress, right? In between... The scenes, they had the second AD would come and lie down on top of me <laughs> to keep me warm. warm. Like, that looked weird. They got, I think it's a little creepy. I'm sure they had a heated me. blanket. He's right? Like, Don't I worry, just, I'll and, get it. And, and, I got it. <laughs> Don't well, worry, Carrie, I'll keep like, you warm. No, this is all we got. We don't have a coat. It's just John. <laughs> That's all we have. But, you know, what's funny about that is when I shot the shower scene in Bugs, this goes back, I have like weird things on set. When I shot the shower scene um, in Bugs, which seemed to take at least three days, I don't know, there was a lot, a lot happening. But I fall through the door, I get attacked by spiders and I fall through the shower door. And I had to fall on top of the stunt coordinator who was lying on a crash mat. Oh, and I was wearing um, just really some pasties. There was not really a lot going on there. But uh, anyway, so I got to know him very well. I was too. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's Sully. So anyway, that was weird because we had to do that several times and I had to like fall essentially naked on top of some man I didn't know. <laughs> These are the things. So the you joys. Wanna, yeah, you, so you want to be an I, actor. I forget the question. <laughs> <laughs> what was that a tangent? You're like, I didn't ask for this. She <laughs> sounds like you both need therapy. <laughs> wow. Yes. Thank you for that. 
Oh, I do, I do. Hold on, I gotta remember. I'm sorry. Yes, we'll clap. My favorite, though, there you my go. favorite scene in that scene, I would have said it would have been that the, the with the Quanta hut with with um with Sam, and 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 I think it was it was awesome to just because of and I did I had mentioned it before, but because of the time we took and the intricacy we wanted to create with the relationship. And, uh, and what that meant for the series at large. I, I knew we were playing around with something so much bigger than the moment, and that was a real, that was really cool to, to not only risk to do, but then to pull off. Like, I felt like it was grasped, and everyone took it as, oh yeah, I believe this relationship that uh, they've been together this whole time. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, that's fun. Hi, my name is Aiden, and this question is for Tate, or for Nate, sorry. Oh, it's all good. But, apart from Sam, if you could pick anyone in the show to be an imaginary friend with, who would you pick? Oh, it is a good one. I'd have to straight go across the board to Dean. <laughs> I think Dean needs a little love. <laughs> what would Dean love. look like with a Sully? <laughs> he needed some encouragement. <laughs> all those, all the, all the uh, sacrifices he was making. I do. I think that I, I, I really, I loved in my, um, in prepping for it. I had this idea of how much, uh, as an actor, you're kind of given the choice to justify why you're choosing making choices. And in that Quanta Hut scene, I remember making the choice to do a couple takes where I didn't know everything that had happened to Sam and Dean or I did know everything that happened to Sam and Dean and I didn't want to tell him. And I wanted him to explain it to me, like I wanted to be that support. And it was crazy that, you know, in this actory way, how much sympathy I found myself having for Dean, that even though, you know, there would have been the back and forth, that there's, there's resolution in the end when I say, oh, you're not a germ, and, and he says, you're not that weird. Um, I feel like Sully had a pretty big heart for Dean too, so. That's a good question. Thank That's you. That's a great question. Yeah. I feel like if Sully uh, was Dean's imaginary friend, that it would be a big, it would be a tougher go. Like you'd have a beard, right? Like it'd be exactly. like, oh my I'd god. Look like, I'd look more like Weems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be Sully Weems. Stop stabbing me in my love handle. Life would have been a little rougher for Sully. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, um, hey. I just want to start with my childhood teddy bear's name was Sully, oh. so it was like built in nostalgia for me. That's that awesome. Um, but also, I was just wondering, you know, what was it like um, having to shoot scenes where you either had to pretend like you couldn't be seen or like having to act with things that you had to act like? You yeah, see? that's where you realized how amazingly professional and that they had done by it. That was season 11 and how they had already done everything. So I, they just told me what to do. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna make you disappear. Camera rakes over the shoulder, we're gonna pop you out. We'll just act like we, that you were always there. And that was always on them. And they always did it in one take. Like, it was crazy to see that they had gotten so used to like the camera tricks aspect. And then for me, mine was easy. I just ducked down or, or hopped out. I'm like, okay, I'll see you. And then they freeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so that, was, that, that was fun. I loved, I loved our scene. It, that was really the one where it got the true test that I kind of failed in the off camera where I, it was really funny. Um, I guess we made it, I mean, in the best of ways. We really laughed so much. We laughed room. a lot. And, and, yeah. and, and I think you had to, to, to cause then it, it made it that much more real when we weren't laughing, you know, you had to get it out. Absolutely. But that would have been one where I wasn't allowed to react. And uh, yeah, I wasn't good at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, it's funny going back when you said they've done everything. I remember standing at craft service with Evan, who played Sparkle, in his full manicorn outfit, and no one from the crew even batted an eye as he was, you know, getting his M&Ms and, you know, snacks. And I was like, you, you know you're on Supernatural when you can stand in craft service with a guy dressed like a, like a rainbow unicorn and no one even notices. <laughs> It's a great, that's a great moment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, my question is for Carrie. So I'm MJ. Um, I'm actually a part entomologist, so Bugs is one of my favorite episodes. Oh, um, awesome. <laughs> yes. I love it. It's, uh, only you, you're the only one. <laughs> 
Okay. It's What's your question? Um, my question was, after you were in that episode and you saw it all kind of come together, what was like your favorite parts of that episode? That I survived. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, when I auditioned for Bugs, uh, so that direct, that episode was directed by the amazing Kim Manners, um, yeah, so good, who, you know, I had known from X-Files, right, oh, he directed wow. some incredible ep episodes of X-Files, so, uh, I auditioned for him, and, and we did the scene, and he, like, leaned over at the audition, he said, Carrie, I'm gonna need you to be lying down, uh, on the ground, um, with your mouth open and have tarantulas running all over you. Do you think that you could do that? And I'm like, I'm an actor, right? So I go, yeah, totally, I could totally do that. It's no problem. And he's like, okay. And I go walk back to my car and I'm like, oh my God, what did I say? I'm terrified of spiders. Terrified. So I'm like, all right, all right, maybe I won't get it. Right, maybe I won't get it. So of course I get it, right? So I get a call saying you've got to go hang out with the Bug Wranglers, right? Before, just to make sure you're not going to freak out. So I go to meet them, and I'm trying to act super cool, right? I'm like, hey, how's it going? You got some bugs? And uh, like everything in the trailer is crawling, crawling or slithering, right? And I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's do this. And he's like, you know, I'm just going to put some spiders on you, and we're just going to talk, and just oh, ignore nice. them, right? Just ignore them. Just adore right? them. Just ignore them. <laughs> I like that terminology. And I'm like, okay, sweating, buckets, buckets, right? Like, okay, yeah, that's cool. I can do that. I do this all the time. And um, so he puts the spiders on me, and as we're talking, one of them goes in my ear, does not come out, okay? And I'm like... And he's just chatting, he has no clue, and I'm like, I have a um, quick question. There's a spider in my ear, and it is not coming out. What happens now? Do we need to go to emergency? Do we set a fire? Well, how does this work? Uh, right? And he's like, oh, no problem. And he goes, like, looks around, he goes to his desk, he gets out a Bic pen with a blue cap, and he pulls the cap off, and he goes, in my ear, get takes it out and he goes, oh, there you go. He goes, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll give you earplugs on the day. I was like, what? I said, so just a second, let me get this straight. Why, what's going on? They're like, well, they really like dark places. And I'm like, I have a second question. So um, Kim Manners uh, mentioned something about having my mouth open in this scene. What's the situation there? Because we can't put an earplug in there. And he's like, okay, no, it's no problem. They don't like damp. They don't like damp or moist things. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, just before we dump, that was the word he used, dump the spiders on you, do this. Like, lick your lips, right? Because they'll like head in that direction and then they'll turn around. So I'm like, really? That's the tried and true solution to this? <laughs> I'm champ! I'm champ! Right? What am I gonna do? Give me some so, first beast. So like lo and behold, so we do it and we did it twice. Okay, so so lo and behold, we're like, they're like, okay, getting ready, and they come in with the uh, buckets of spiders, and I'm again not wearing anything but pasties because it's a continuation of the shower scene. So A, I'm already feeling super, super comfy. And they're like, okay, are you ready? I'm just like, just a second. <laughs> I'm ready, right? Like, I look insane. Now, the crew has no clue what I'm doing. They just she, probably she think, solely, obviously. They full on probably think I'm having a seizure, right? And so we shoot the scene, and this is back, you know, they were oh, using man. film, right? So, like, you couldn't mess this up. But anyway, so I'm laying there. I can hear the camera going by because it pans down my body. And something bites me during the take on my forehead. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. It bit me, one of them. And I'm like, I can't, oh God, oh God, I can't wreck the take because then we got to take all the spiders off. Like, 
because it took almost 20 plus minutes to get all the spiders off, which they took off one at a time with a plastic spoon. And I'm just gonna go back to they like dark places, so they start going under things and like, and they have to, and I'd be like, there's another one. Like there's, yeah, Man, it took a while. Between spiders and John, <laughs> was like, had, had a run. Uh, Anyway, yes, so when people ask me all the time, were the spiders real? Yes, wow. the ones in the shower were not real because spiders and showers don't mix well. Uh, but every other spider I worked with um, was, was wow. real. That's um, a moment. And I, and I got a standing ovation from the crew after we shot that. <laughs> but I have to say, some of, I'm not naming names, and I'm, I'm not the regular cast, but some of the guest cast kind of freaked out over some, like the Beatles and um, some of the other things. And everyone just kept saying, Are, do you know what Carrie's doing? <laughs> You're worried about a beetle? <laughs> like, yeah, that's but anyway, um, it was pretty cool. I actually was just happy, like spiders was one thing, but I didn't have to work with the bees, which got out in the studio. Yeah, <laughs> bees are what I work with. Oh! So, wow. I can talk cool. to you more about that later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because they had the guys doing what you're not supposed to do, right? this right in the scene so i was like i'll 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 stick with the spiders but i have to say i got over my fear of spiders yeah now oh. if i find a spider in the house i pick it up i bring it outside like a lady <laughs> you adore them yes they're my Take the they're, moment to adore them. i am one with a spider yeah thank you thank story. you yeah great question good luck yeah. with the bees yes don't get stung Questions for Nate. I just want to say you're like you have a very infectious laugh, and I love your personality. Such a positive energy that I love. Uh, thank and so I just want to say, is positivity something you actively strive for? Or is that just a natural personality thing for you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, one thanks, and yeah, you know, I I kind of credit my family as a pretty jovial family, almost to the point where we have to lock it down a little bit. We got, we have my dad kind of is a happy guy, but yeah, I think it's also just a choice and. In life, I'm so thankful. I get to I get to do this job. I get to work with, with what I do. I started kind of young doing it, and just to keep doing it, I just I'm, I I guess that's it. You just it's more thankful than not. But uh, I know that you know that's not for everybody. But but I'm glad I can be. And thanks for for liking it. Some people don't. <laughs> I like it a whole lot. Yeah, I do. You like it? It makes me smile. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, how'd they do, huh? Ah, sweat. Great job. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. If you could meet our friends on the side of the stage here, they've got some stuff for you to sign. I, uh, nothing like walking into a story that gives you goosebumps. I heard the spider stuff. It's not. So, um, 